one more day our Lord has given, we can give the praise and thanks to the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, everybody. May God bless you more and more. Um, just I want to say, I want to pray for this session right now. This is a gospel revival. Every day morning, we are taking UK time at 8 a.m. Totally deep, it's late, but uh, uh, the gospel revival will reach to the, all the nations. So we can let us pray about that. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching online and the people are here in this part of God. Heavenly Father, I bless them, Father. Thank you for keeping them in your glory. During the time of sharing this word of God, thank you for your touching each one of them, Father, in all the areas of their life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, God bless you. We can sing one song, praise the Lord. After that, uh, we can uh, preach this gospel. You can hear this word of God. We can sing, How Great the Art. Praise the Lord. How great the art you can sing it. Winner singing. Everybody, I believe Holy Spirit will help you to uh, feel with more anointing and power. Praise the Lord. So that more you are um, spending time with God, of God will bless you more and more. Praise the Lord. Oh Lord, my God, when I know some wonder, consider, oh, Lord, thy hands trust me. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Been through the wars and forest glades, I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the tree. Then I look down from Lord T Mountain Grange and hear the broom and feel the genuine breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then I think that God, his son, not sparing, send him to die, I scared can take it in. Then on I cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, 
Great me home, but joy shall in my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, My God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. How great thou art, how great Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So, everybody, may our God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So, today, I want to preach today. Um, our God has appointed you to preach this gospel. You have got a greatest duty in Christ Jesus. This is... Uh, this is a message today. I would like to preach to each and every people. Praise the Lord. So that everybody join with us. Then I'm going to Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. I'm reading Malayalam. Any Shakti Nalika Kirtu issue, and Namode, Kartha, and the Vishosten, in a Vishosten, in the ending, Sisushika Aki the Gunde, Yan Avenes to the Kino. Pasha Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. In this Bible says, I thank Christ Jesus our God, our Lord, who has given me strength that he considered me trustworthy, appointing me to his service. Praise the Lord. This is what the Bible says. Um, Apostle Paul, he was saying, our God has appointed him, each and everything, whatever he was doing, he was saying uh, in front of the world, our God has appointed me. Our God gave me the strength. Our God gave me the power. Our God gave me the wisdom. Our God gave me the knowledge and everything. Because of this reason, I am preaching this gospel. This is way. This is what Apostle Paul was uh, preaching as of saying to everybody. So that each and every people, the people are watching online. If you are the born again person, you have to say, our God has appointed you to preach this gospel. Most of the people are waiting to hear again the word of God and waiting to hear again the message from the Lord. But our God is not at all happy to reveal, say, again and again to them. Already it is well written in the Bible. Our God has appointed you to preach the gospel to the national book of gospel, Matthew chapter 28. So that because of this reason, majority of the Morgan and born again people are not at all um, uh, doing this gospel work because uh, most of the time they were thinking our God will say something to me to pray this gospel. So I want to say to all the people, praise the Lord, do something for God. Always, in the morning, in the evening, the daytime, the nighttime, each and every day, you have to do for the God. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you know that you cannot be able to go forward by yourself. If you are the born again person, you cannot go by yourself. You are always doing something for God by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is what I want to say to all the people. Praise the Lord. We cannot do anything in our effort, but we can do mighty things by the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle Paul, he was saying, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12, he was saying, I thank Christ Jesus, our God, who has given me the strength that he considered me trustworthy, appointing me to the to the service. Because of this reason, one day he was prosecuted the church of God. After that, what happened? Apostle Paul, he was preaching the gospel in every city, in all the cities. I'm preaching the gospel, spreading the salvation to each and every people. Praise the Lord. So that finally he was saying, and um, this God has appointed me to preach this gospel. So 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13, um, Bible says, Bible says, uh, Bible says, he was saying, I'm a, I was a prosecutor and a violent man. I was shown mercy because I, um, I acted in ignorance and and belief. Praise the Lord. He was saying, even though I was once a prosecutor and a wild man, I was shown mercy 
because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. Mumbai nyan dosa kenam ubudrevi nistwari nama irno. Inggalum abisuasatil abisuasatil ariyade cegai gonde ini ke kairna labicu. So that okay, the people those who are uh, in your ignorance, if you are doing something uh, against God, our God will never, our God will neglect that one because you you don't have anything about the God. We don't have any other knowledge in that. But one day when you come to know the power of the Lord. When you come to know the miracle from the Lord, if you have received any other miracle, any other touch from the Lord, after that, if you are ignoring your gospel work, if you are ignoring the Bible, the 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 ministry which our God has given to you, you have to give a price to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God will ask to you. You have to give answer to the Lord. So that each and every people, we know that one. In the year of 2021, in the year of 2022, there was lots of pandemic situation. It was there. But does it matter? Even if there was lots of pandemic situation, it was there uh, in the, all these nations. Majority of the people, uh, lots of people, lots of churches and everybody, they were preaching this gospel. They were preaching this gospel in all the areas. But nowadays, most of the churches and you know that one, what they did in the year of 2020 and 21, they are not at all doing the 2022. Praise the Lord. They have to carry on the gospel work. They have to go ahead with good work. Praise the Lord. Each and every day, we have to do this gospel work in Christ Jesus. Then only our God can, you know, that one, trust you. How our God can trust you? That means you are obeying the gospel word. You are obeying the word of God. Praise the Lord. So that sometimes you walk in the family time. You will never get any other answer from the Lord. The world people will come and stand against you. You cannot go forward. Praise the Lord. Prosecution will come. Rejection will come. Your all the social media accounts and everything they will get hacked. Then everybody will, will uh, put you. Uh, you know that one. Um, everybody will neglect you. What you have to do in that one? In that time, we have to again. We have to trust in God. This God will never leave me or forsake, forsake me. This God will never leave me more or forsake me. I have to say uh, from our heart accordingly. We have to say the word of God. The more you say the word of God, the more strength, the more power you will get it. Our Holy Spirit will help you to go forward in all the areas of your life. This is what Apostle Paul, whenever he was getting the prosecution, whenever he was getting the rejection, whenever he was, he was facing things which was coming against his life, what he was doing, he was always giving the thanks and praise to the Lord. This is what in the prison he was giving the thanks and praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord. In Apostle, in the King David, he was giving the thanks and praise to the Lord. Jacob, he was giving the thanks and praise to the Lord when he was alone, when he went to Laban's house, from his, when he left all his, um, if, uh, his um, father and mother and his house, his brother, when he went to the Laban house, he was alone. He was trusting God. He was giving the thanks and praise to the Lord. Our God was giving that time uh, before that a clear cut direction in his broken hearted when he received the dream. A vision from the Lord, he himself received the strength and power because of um, this reason. He himself came to know our God is here, our God is here, the presence of the Lord is here. This is what I want to say to each and every people the presence of the Lord is here. You cannot be a failure. The work which you are doing for God, please go ahead. This God will honor you, this God will never leave you, this God will never forsake you, this God will make you great in the nation. Praise the Lord. You are not at all alone. You are going with, you are doing everything by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. That's what yesterday in my preaching I was talking. We are sealed by the promise of the Holy Spirit. That means God cannot able to remove the seal which our God has put on your spirit, in your spirit by Holy Spirit. That means it has already sealed. That means it has already sealed. Praise the Lord. Um, even if uh, you are a prosecutor, our God's mercy is still there in you. Praise the Lord. We are living in this world because of our God's mercy. Our God is a merciful God. Loving kindness is a nature of our Lord. Praise the Lord. And still, our God needs you. The people, those who are um, sitting in your house, the, the people, those who are facing the famine time, I would like to say to accord the gospel to each and every people. Come back to the Lord. Take this gospel and do the work what you have done before. 
the same work do it today onwards start to do it today onwards this god will help you to go, go ahead praise the lord lots of world people are waiting to hear the word of god from you lots of people are living in this world they are waiting to hear the word of god from you what you have to do it you have to respond to the word of god praise the lord hallelujah thank you very much bible says okay um first timothy chapter 1 verse 14 bible says okay uh, bible says bible says the grace of our lord was poured out on me abundantly praise the lord one once uh, when you are uh, preaching the gospel one thing i can say according my experience my experience um, when i was preaching the gospel in the street many times okay i was facing lots of problems lots of things lots of people they were coming against me that time the grace of the lord it was coming more and more upon me this is what apostle paul is saying the grace of our lord was poured out on me abundantly along with the faith and love that are in christ jesus right that means okay our god will increase um, the anointing in you the anointing which you have received during the time of the born again the more we are doing the gospel work the more anointing our god will increase you praise the lord this more anointing our god can get you praise the lord that without anointing we cannot do anything without anointing we cannot preach the gospel praise the lord without anointing we cannot heal the sick people when jesus christ was in this world when he was in the flesh when he was doing this public ministry he was everything done um, in this society because of his anointing the heavenly anointing praise the lord we have got the heavenly anointing so uh, heavenly anointing and power we have got glory and power we got at the death and resurrection of jesus christ we have got anointing and power so that each and every people that's what jesus christ did said i'm going to my father's place when i'm going my father's place i will send my helper this helper will come and teach you everything what i have done in this world what you have to supposed to do in this world what you should not do anything praise the lord this helper will come and teach you praise the lord this helper will come and touch your heart so that you will get an ability to repent your sins praise the lord so that what you have to supposed to do each and every day this helper will help you so the people are the right situation today i want to say to all the people in your right situation ask the help from the holy spirit this holy spirit can help you praise the lord you can run extra miles with the gospel sometimes you cannot see anything but there will be a result you know that one, the last year i was preaching the gospel in the street when i'm going the same place um, you know where i had been the last year same place when i went there people they were coming and saying oh pastor uh, when you have prayed for me the last year i could receive the healing the things which will happen during the time of your prayer but sometimes you cannot able to see uh, in your eyes sometimes you can see in your eyes if you cannot able to see in your eyes we cannot say the things are not going to happen it is happening in the name of jesus christ each and every prayer and our um, our our, um, our prayer and all these things it will be reaching in the heaven at the earliest time jesus christ is a mediate praise the lord between the heavenly father and you jesus christ is an advocate each and every prayer is answerable that's what book of jeremiah bible says call upon to me i will give you the answer praise the lord that's what bible says book gospel john chapter 40 bible says do not be afraid believe in gospel believe god believe in god believe in me this is what i want to say to all the people namu hrudayam asustham agirada dev betal vishwasikkuven ennilum vishwasikkuven praise the lord so that I, i want to say to all the people the more you are doing the gospel work the more grace our god will increase the grace in you praise the lord book of psalm chapter 29 where it says everyone bible says our god will give the power that's what the bible says the lord gives strength to his people the lord blesses his people with peace praise the lord i would like to report um, i would like to read one more time the lord gives strength to his people the lord blesses his people with peace yehova tande janathine shakti nalgum yehova tande janathe samadharam nalgi anugrahikkum right we are the god's own people we are the chosen generation we are the royal priesthood we are the holy nation because of this reason this god will establish your life this god will give the strength this god will make you great in the nation this god's power is unlimited power praise the lord and i am um, 
That's what the Bible says, okay? The book of Luke chapter 5, verse 17, Bible says, when Jesus Christ is preaching the gospel in front of the society, praise the Lord, in front of the people, Bible says, and the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick, praise the Lord. Luke chapter, uh, book of Luke chapter 5, verse 17, the power of the Lord was with Jesus Christ. Now, Bible says, the power of the Lord was with you, with me, the people, those who are believing in him. That's what Bible says, our God has given you the power and authority over over. All the evil spirit. Praise the Lord. That means nothing shall by any means hurt you. That means each and every time, the, if you are the, uh, if you are in Christ Jesus, the Gospel of John, First uh, John chapter five, Bible says, we are a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. The wicked one cannot touch your body. Praise the Lord. If you are the born again person, if you are uh, baptized, if you are trusting our God, this God. Will never leave you nor forsake you. Adana, Dufta, the world are Karka Namla Tachi and at Kartha and one Korakatilla. The only thing Yale and the Mandal Tiamba at City of Uru, a periodi number to Velapotilla, Namla Kartha in the Vajam Persani, Kartha in the Christian Alani. Aduna the name, Namla Parayanam, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, our God's power is with me because of this reason nobody can defeat me. By what men can do to me, my God is my helper. Praise the Lord. This is why when you are seeing accordingly, you yourself will get a uh, vision from the Lord. You will get a guidance from the Holy Spirit. You will get the power. You will get an experience from the Holy Spirit to do something uh, what you are to supposed to do in your life. So that I am not taking the much time right now today. Praise the Lord. So that people, those who are here in this word of God, thank you very much. Thank you for hearing this word of God. May our God bless you more and more in Jesus' name, spiritually and physically, all the areas of your life. May our God grant you a bless you and keep you in your glory. Praise the Lord. Let us raise our hand and pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are watching online and the people are here at this word of God. Heavenly Father, bless our Father, give them glory. Heavenly Father, spiritually and physically, all the areas of life, I bless our Father. Heavenly Father, once again more, I pray for all the people. People are having, people are facing lots of famine and time in their life. People are walking in the wilderness position. Heavenly Father, thank you for just touching out your righteous right hand towards them. Thank you for you are increasing their faith to those who are uh, trusting in you. Heavenly Father, thank you for your, sending your anointing healing power to them because of yeah. this reason they can receive the healing. Once again more, I pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, may God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.